Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an incredible day. Now guys, this is a bit of a strange video for us to have to do. As you see there, we have our beautiful, beautiful flame tree. And the proper name for this, I have to just show you, it's called a Br Bracky, Bracky Cheaton. Um, and it's, an, it's obviously a nickname commonly called the flame tree. And as you can see, it is a tree. Now, this beautiful, beautiful tree here, um, Hans grew from seed himself. And I'm going to let you tell, tell you guys the story about how he got the seed and grew this, this plant, this tree, I should say, from seed, um, rather than me going to it now. But I'm just doing a bit of the introduction to this plant here because sadly, well, it's good news, good news for this wonderful tree, but so sad news for us, but good news also in that this tree is actually so getting so large now that when Hans, he brought it over from Sweden, he's had to cut it back a few times, as you can see here. And um, this year, or last year, I should say, in September, we moved house, we had to cut it back. And it has grown so much. Now, this isn't a house plant, guys. It's actually a tree that normally grows outdoors in Australia. And it should be growing outdoors or in some massive botanic gardens. And we have not, sadly, got the room for it because if we kept cutting it back, it's obviously not fair to the plant. It's too tall even for our polytunnel. And even if we put it out during the summer, we have the problem we have to keep cutting it back when we bring it in for the winter. And as you can see, it needs to be outdoors and not, not indoors in our grow room with the grow lights. And um, the reason why we're doing this video is we're going to be saying goodbye to this plant, although not goodbye forever, because uh, we have got some people calling today from the Botanic Gardens here in Belfast in Northern Ireland and they are coming to take this tree away and they're going to rehome this in the Botanic Gardens here in Belfast. So this beautiful tree that we love so much. Oh, I'm actually getting emotional guys. I'm sorry this sounds really silly because as I'm sure a lot of you know, our plants and our, you know, our plants are like our babies. We get really fond of them. And yeah, I know guys, you'll probably laugh at me. But um, <laughs> we get so attached to our plants. And me and Hansi were talking about this tree. Look, we're going to have to rehome it because it needs to be outside. But obviously we are in Ireland, so it's not warm enough to be growing outside. But who is going to have a large enough place for this? And of course, we asked the Botanic Gardens and they said they would love it because they have a new greenhouse that's opening up at the end of April and it's the Tropical Ravine Greenhouse that's been renovated for the past probably three years now. And they have a range of beautiful tropical plants in there and they've redone it all out and it's reopening again the end of April and they would love this flame tree because they don't have one and it's rare in cultivation. So this is going to be homed in there if not in their palm house. And um, it is so exciting for us because it means we'll be able to go and see this, this um, flame tree. <laughs> sorry for getting emotional, guys. You guys, I'm sorry if it's making you laugh. But we, I mean, I, every morning I get up and I talk to this beautiful flame tree because I'm so fond of it. And Hansi is going to be emotional when this goes. So it's going to be sort of sad for us. But as I say, what a wonderful, it's going to be rehomed at the Botanic Gardens, just down the road from where we live. So we'll be able to go and see all the time in its lovely new home. And if you could see this greenhouse, guys, um, we have done a few videos at the Botanic Gardens here in Belfast. And it's amazing, a beautiful big palm house and the big tropical ravine um, that is going to house so many beautiful plants. And this is going to have an absolutely amazing life in there. It's going to have maximum light. We'll be able to see it whenever we want. And it's it's also going to give lots of people pleasure when they see it. So that's good news. And um, that's me waffling on. When we bring this, we're bringing this plant downstairs now because they're going to be calling at one o'clock to collect it. And I'll let Hansi tell you a little bit about the history behind this tree. Now, guys, here's Hansi and I'll let him tell you a little bit about the history of this tree. Yeah, this is my dear old friend. <laughs> Brachotiko. Uh, well, and for eight years ago, I got seeds from France in Sweden, uh, who had been in the Asia and got, yeah, got the seeds there, and I got, and I got, uh, I, I get these seeds from them. I see, wait a minute, if I found that. 
at the beautiful leaves, guys. It's, it's, it's actually got like furry velvet leaves. Oh. Yeah, I, got, I got this. I got this from them. And in wow. this is uh, the seeds. So I, I put them in a put them in a pot and uh, they never grow. Uh, and uh, I'm I don't throw away things as you know since earlier. So I of course I use the soil to repotting and and kalanchweblas uh, feldiana. And after a year, I saw a little plant. Uh, what is? And it, I saw it. It wasn't a normal weed, you know. So uh, when I repot the kalanchu, I uh, uh, I uh, took this little plant and put it in a in a separate pot. And after that, boom! It started to grow. Now, like it was rocket fuel. Uh, and got big and got those lovely, lovely leaves. And I did not have seen those before. And I check it, check it, and check it. I didn't find it uh, anywhere. I took contact with a high uh, horticulture person in Sweden, uh, good name. So, <laughs> and uh, uh, but she know. Uh, I got strange suggestion that this was a maple or some this <laughs> no 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 and uh, yeah after a while so yeah it grows and I cut it because it's so uh, strong growing uh, and uh, uh, put it in bigger pots and all that stuff yeah then I'm at Lynn and time to move so it come to Waterford a long travel from Waterford up to Belfast I know Belfast Botanical Garden come and get this plant because they don't have it huh? <laughs> I, I have it we have it and uh, now uh, the last trip for this tree is to come to the new uh, new tropical house in uh, Belfast Botanical Garden which opened uh, in uh, last of April, and I know this plant got to get a lovely home. It's going to thrive there, isn't it, Malou? Yeah. As I say, I feel like it's a sad. Uh, it's but... a good feeling that uh, I know it comes in good hands, and uh, we can come and visit. We can visit it with wherever uh, we want. <laughs> Individ. Oh yeah. <laughs> when we want, and uh, I'm very happy for that. And so, the tropical ravine, mm. isn't it beautiful, the new greenhouse they've made. It opens up the end of April, so we'll be able to see this beauty whenever we want. So it's not going to be far away from us, mm. as we only live down the road from the Botanic Gardens anyway. So mm. um, now we're going to wait. In a bit, they're going to call and come and take it away. Mm. Now, guys, in case some of you ask, why don't we take a cut in from this tree to propagate so we've still got part of it here? Well, Hansi has tried numerous times when he lived in Sweden and he just can't get it to root, so it's going to be too difficult. Is it? You tried a few times, didn't you, my love? Yeah, three times I got them on the, on the stems. It comes those white, white pops, you know, on the stem. Yeah. Um, where, um, um, but. It's, it's a must, those white pops shall come, because that is a start for root building, but uh, not once that start to come. So I gave up. Ah. So it is. Uh, oh. We need a, um, a strong harmonic, I think. Harmonic yeah, uh, hormone powder. For, yeah, harmonic powder for Oh. But we don't have that strong. No, not that strong. A lot of them are banned anyway now in, in Ireland and the UK, aren't they? A lot of the very strong um, type of things that you used to be able to get years ago that worked. <laughs> and there you go, guys. They've taken the flame tree away and we feel very sad, but we feel very happy because um, it's going to go to a wonderful, wonderful home. There were a lovely, lovely couple of lady and a, and a gentleman came and um, obviously they're hoping to put it into the tropical ravine which is the big new greenhouse, so that would be a dream for that tree to be in there. It'd be lovely for us to see it in there. And if not, hopefully it'd be going to the palm house. But it's wonderful. How do you feel, Hansi? Oh, 
happy and sad. I know, it's a, we do feel emotional. It's like a baby going, oh God, <laughs> what are we like? Guys, I'm sure you can relate to your plants as well. So um, we're both going to have a bit of a cry now, but a happy cry because we know it's going to a lovely home. So um, to show, these are some of our chaufleras in the window. And luckily these are, can be cut back many times. If you haven't seen the original video where Hansi made when we moved house from Waterford, up to Belfast where we cut all these big boys well Hans cut these big boys down so we could move them links up above to that video and it also shows you with the flame tree there that we had to cut down what it looked like before so we're just happy it's going to a wonderful home and as I say it'd be just far too big it's meant to be an outdoor tree um, not indoors unless it's in a big big obviously big massive botanic gardens which it's going to but um, it'd be like the equivalent of growing an oak tree inside your house guys <laughs> so guys I want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power as always from Belfast until the next video guys bye